The 2024 Saudi Cup has gone the way of Senor Buscador for America. We're delighted to be joined here on the uh, the podium by the winning trainer Todd Fincher, uh, by the majority owner uh, Joe Peacock, and also uh, by the winning jockey uh, Junior uh, Alvarado. We'll start off with uh, you, Joe. This horse has taken you to to many of the big days in America. He's got that big closing style, and that race has set up perfectly for him. Oh, you know, Todd said early on that this race set up perfectly for him. It was a good distance. The one turn we think is just really beneficial given his running style. Uh, we know he's going to come from way back. Two turns, he always he gives up too much ground. So this was a, a perfect setup for him, and we just couldn't be happier about the result. And just watching the, the, the Pegasus back, I thought that was just a remarkable performance that the ground is made up the way he was closing down the winner. He didn't quite get there, but he's done it today and produced right on the line by the man to your left. He knows where he needs to be, and, and he got there today. <laughs> And just give us your impressions watching the race. It, it seemed to go according to plan. Only there was plenty of pace on. Were you, were you maybe worried that he was too far out of his ground, or is that you've got full faith in the way that he does run? Well, I always worry about him because he's so far back. But uh, yes, we have a lot of confidence, a lot of faith in the horse. He, he's got a big heart. He tries hard, and uh, he doesn't always get there. But we knew, given enough time, that that he would put it all together and, and win a big one. We didn't really think it'd be the Saudi Cup, but uh, we'll take it. And the experience of, of coming across here, how much have you guys in, enjoyed the journey of pinpointing this race, working back, and then coming over here to execute the plan? Well, that's all. All that credit goes to Todd Fincher and, and his team. Um, you know, he made it happen. He had the, the horse in peak performance, and uh, today we got to see what that looks like. And Joe, your experience of racehorse ownership, how far back does that extend? And uh, Senor Buscador, I guess he'd be uh, pretty much the, the pick of the pile. Uh, yeah, um, my parents started raising horses about 55 years ago, and so I grew up around them. And uh, this was a, the last horse that my dad and I bred together. So, this fellow? Uh, yeah. That's so, tremendous. Uh, yeah, it's very, very special. So, yeah, I grew up around it. I've been around it all my life. And, uh, you know, we just, again, couldn't be more excited about the, the, the end result. And what was your dad's name? My dad's name was Joe. Joe. Okay, I'm, I'm sure he's... He's looking down and be very proud of what you've all achieved here this evening. Absolutely. Well, the man who's executed the plan is, uh, is Todd. Um, a remarkable race, Todd, and you thought the setup would be perfect and it's gone exactly away. The setup was perfect. We had plenty of speed in there. The one, like Joe said, the one turn mile was a uh, mile and eighth was right up his alley. And uh, a track that plays fair, you know, we've been on some really speed bias tracks and uh, we felt this track would play fair and it did. And uh, he ran with the best horses in the world and he showed what he can do. And he's a remarkable horse. You watch those races in America. He doesn't win that often, but he's always coming there strong at the finish. Yeah, I mean, we can make excuses for him all the time, but uh, he puts himself in that position a lot of the times gets behind 10, 11 horses and has to weave his way through so he doesn't get a clean trip and always gets dirt kicked in his face. So he does it to himself, but uh, he, he sure tries to overcome it every time. And you've been to the Pegasus, you've been to the Breeders' Cup. When did this race come on the agenda? And when do you think, well, that distance, that one turn's really going to play to his strengths? Maybe a, well, we've always known that, but a couple weeks before the Pegasus, we started thinking about the the Saudi Cup, you know, it's a big purse, best horses in the world. This horse deserves the, he's never got the credit he deserves. And, and I'm just so adamant that I wanted him to prove how good he is. And uh, he finally proved it. He has indeed. And uh, Junior, you're on board for the spin around. Just uh, give us an indication of what it was like to ride him out there tonight. You know, he's been an you know, absolutely amazing horse to ride. You know, he kind of fit what I like, the way I like to ride horses, you know. Just get the feet under, you know, let him get control the first part and, and always start finish up pretty strong, you know. And, and like I say, we got a little bit unlucky the past two races. You just tracked by us, you know, tracked has been very, very fast, favoring speed horses. And, and you know, it's nothing we really can do, you know. I, 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 I never like to change the, the style of a horse. And, and, and like I say, I, I, I just knew he was a good horse. I always told, thought that, you know, He's, he's a very good horse. We just need to be a, a little bit, not even lucky. Just, we just need to be sometimes have a fair track where he can, you know, get a, a, a better chance to win. And, you know, he proved that today. And when you sat down looking at the race beforehand, you must have been pleased to see pace, 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 pace. You knew there's going to be a, a big burn up early. Yeah, I, I was, you know, very, 
happy the way that all the horses drew, you know, because it, it, it looked like he added more speed just the way that the, some horses were, were, you know, broken from different positions, you know. And but still, you know, you have to wait until, you know, the race developed as fast as you, you want it to be. And, and like I said, I mean, I was sitting in a good spot back there looking at everything, you know, just biding my time, you know, let him get, you know, his feet under. And, and you know, he's a horse. He, when he's ready, you know, he kind of start letting, you know, he start picking up horses on his own. And, and, you know, after that, you know, just start riding along with him. And he must give you quite an electric feel when he starts to run when you're picking off the likes of White on Barrio and, and Saudi Crown right down the outside. Yeah, definitely. You know, I have the horse who finished second. I, I, I can see, I can remember who who, who was the horse who finished second. Uh, uh, Dubai World Cup winner. Today. Yeah, today, today. Saudi Crown. Ulf Batisoro. No, Ulf Batisoro. Ulf Batisoro. Yeah, he he was the one. Yeah, he was the one that probably was <laughs> next to me the whole way. You know, and and you know, and I'm inside, and he wasn't too happy being inside right there. So I gotta kind of let him go first. You know, make the first jump on me, and you know, I used to put him right behind him and, and you know I can feel that you know he's ready for me ready for me and then I'll say probably a little before the eight, th by the 316 pole when I put him in the clear you know I can feel that he start going after the horse it was just a matter of time to, to, to get there at the right time you know trying to, to measure it perfectly there. And Joe what other big events have you managed to, to, to partake in or how would this rank to some of the, the sort of major milestones in your life? Well this ranks up there um you talking about just horse related because otherwise I'm going to get in trouble with my family. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, no, this was, this was big. Um, you know, we were excited about the opportunity. Um, we felt like the horse deserved the opportunity. It's amazing. Well, let's have any, any questions for our panel yeah. up here. Uh, if anybody's got them, please put your hand up. We'll get a microphone to you as well. Uh, uh, I've got the microphone. Let's go second back row first. Junior, last 18 months, Cody's Wish, Art Collector, Pegasus, this now. You know, what's next and what's this change that's happened that's just accelerating your career right now? Oh, well, we got to start. So, <laughs> see, where, where are we going next now with him? But, you know, just, I'm just very, you know, very happy, very, you know, grateful for the, the opportunity that they have come along and, and, and you know, try to. to give my horses the best chance we could you know I always been kind of struggling with some injuries and you know the past few years is has been in a good go for me so I'm trying like I said to take advantage of every opportunity I get junior coming from nowhere when did you find this is my race I'm gonna win it it was probably when we passed the 16 pole I knew I had a, a good chance to win you know he's out there he, sometimes he keeps coming at it keep coming at it but you know like looking past performance you know sometimes you think he might just get there and then he kind of waits a little bit and don't pass the last horse so I didn't you know want to get too excited I just want to keep riding my horse but I knew I had a, a good chance to win this race you know a little before the 16 pole Tom you have a question no okay uh, and and Todd, if we look at sort of how the, the racing in, in Saudi has grown as well, how keen an interest have you paid to how the Middle East and Saudi in particular has grown over the last few years? Well, honestly, I've never paid much attention. I'm from New Mexico. I don't have this quality of horses very often. Uh, my stable's getting bigger and stronger now, but uh, they've treated us great over here. Uh, we appreciate the hospitality and... Uh, uh, I, I knew you just, could do it. We're just yeah, e very could. excited about the opportunity and uh, getting it done was amazing. And where might you roll the dice now? Might you stay out in the region to go on to Dubai in a few weeks or are you shipping back home? Yeah, that's the plan, but we'll leave it up to the horse, of course. You know, he's, you know, if he bounces out of it, he runs the same race every time, so it usually doesn't take him much, very long to bounce back. So uh, uh, we just have to make sure health, physical health is in good shape. Okay, well, many congratulations to you all. Uh, Todd Fincher, Junior Alvarado, and uh, Joe Peacock Jr. with here, the Saudi Cup. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Can I get my family in for April? Y'all come here. Just call me here. I don't know what they mean by surreal now. <laughs> I'll go on the outside. Oh, it's a killer. I got it for No, you can it there. Yeah. 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 Yeah.